Water level sensor, what is it? Well, as I'm sure you are probably already aware, electricity flows through water. This sensor here uses that information to its advantage to detect water levels across 10 exposed copper traces. Five of them supply a small amount of electricity and the other five, done in sort of a checkerboard-ish pattern, will be the ones that detect uh, that electricity. Normally, since there's no power or nothing to connect those lines, it would sense nothing. Um, but when they are immersed in a little bit of water, um, they become bridged and a rough water level can be measured on an analog input pin. This sensor is particularly useful in something like an automatic plant watering system or potentially something creative like maybe a flood alarm. You can possibly put it in a bucket if you want to know if you have a leaky roof and when you need to replace the bucket. Whatever. There's a bunch of different use cases for this, but it is good at detecting water levels, as the name of the sensor implies. Following the wiring example down below and um, temporarily on screen, you can pause if needed. Bell right put one there. We will wire the signal wire into A0 and also into pin 7, which will be supplying power from and the minus pin here will be going to the ground. So for future reference in general, almost universally, a plus sign means that it needs power on that line and a minus needs to be grounded, just as a heads up. We can then take the code provided um, and hit run to be able to read whatever the water level reads on the analog input pin. So I'm going to quickly detect my board here by after I plug it in. There it is, and I'm going to upload the code that I have, and then I'll open up the serial monitor. I should also make sure I'm on the right baud rate. Change to the right baud, 115, 200, there we go. Water level zero, water level zero, water level zero, water level zero, water level zero. Well, that's because there's no water. Now, I'm gonna see if I can try to do this on camera in a way that doesn't uh, completely like screw anything up. Yes, I know we're getting water around electronics. That is a scary thought even to me. Let's try to not pour this on my laptop. If I can in some way, shape or form do that, I will then dip it in the water. Ooh, ooh, we're getting deep in the water now. Ooh, 139, 148, 154. I'm gonna slowly pull it out. See, it starts just to go down and up and down and up. Interesting. It might also just be dripping some of the water off of it. <laughs> Let's be real. Most of the time, if it's like a plant water or anything, it's not going to dip that fast. But what if I just like, keep it at the tip? Interesting. And then up, back up all the way. So it seems to be going between like one or like maybe like 90 and 150 or something. But either way. Um, you can configure that to be used in programs however you would like. But yeah, as you can see, it's detecting the water depending on how deep it goes in and etc. And it's able to grab that information here on the by using the analog read input. And it's detecting it on the water detector pin, which again, we've set as analog zero for this use case. But you can technically change this to be a seven or a four or whatever and just move the pin accordingly. And uh, with that, that is the water sensor.